Hello people, this is going to be our first Q&A question and answer video. So we have a ton of questions, so I will start. And the first question I'm reading, I'm just gonna go Wait, through them. Wait, should we explain why we're in a car on our date night? Oh, this is our date night and we're, we, we haven't planned anything for our date night. We have a whole date night um, playlist. So I'll link that below if you're interested in our previous date night experiences. Um, anyway, so our first question has eight thumbs up. I think it's the most thumbs up. And it says, would you rather have one million dollars or one million subscribers? What do you think? A million, obviously a million dollars because then you could buy way more subscribers by just advertising it like Ty Lopez. Here in my garage. Here's my thing. If you had one million subscribers though, wouldn't... Well, I don't know how much money you would make, but after time, don't you think you would make more than $1 million? Yeah, but if you had the seed money in the beginning, then you could put in advertising and you could make way more. Well, there's that. Okay, how long have you been married and how the two of you meet? So, okay, we've been married for nine years. December 20th is our anniversary, but I think we're going to make a separate video on how we've met because it's, it's, it's a story, you know? Yeah. He tells it very well, I not so much. But uh, I think we'll make a separate video on that because a lot of people um, did ask Let's that question. Let's give him question. a hint. Let's give him a little hint. Super Bowl party? Deceit. Deceit, yes, lies. Yeah, lots of like manipulation, but we'll get to that in another I, video. I convinced her I was this awesome individual. <laughs> okay, what would you say is the best thing you like about each other? Ooh, and how long have you been married? Nine years. I know that you have three kids, but how many do you want? Eight. <laughs> oh wait, we're supposed to say it together. How many do you want? Eight. Okay. Right. He wants eight. I like to take it one at a time. That's what I say, like one at a time. I don't know how many I can handle. You know what I mean? If you're a mom, you definitely know what I mean. He wants a huge family though. He is one of 11 and... Well, well technically there's 12 of us. But I'm you're one. one of the 12. Yeah, so I'm one of 12. Oh, one of 12. Okay, I see what you're saying. So he grew up in a super large family. It was like his, hers, and theirs. I grew up in... I have four siblings, so there was five of us. But um, there's a huge age range between us, so there weren't always um, five kids in the house. So he wants a large family. I think three is a large family, but I do think that we want more. I don't think we're done with at three. Like I know some people are like, oh, I just had my baby. That's my last baby. Like I've never had that feeling. Well, I haven't had that feeling yet that like our family is complete. Right. I don't know that. I, so I definitely see more kids in but our future. What happens if you don't have eight? Oh, Alex always says, if I don't give him eight, then he'll go somewhere else and get eight. I'll put out applications for you, for you ladies that are watching. What kind of discipline techniques do you use for your older children, if you use any at all? So, we go more on like a um, positive reinforcement kind of discipline. Like, instead of being like, if you don't do that, you're getting this taken away or whatever. We say, if you do X, Y, Z, then you will get A, B, C. Do you know what I mean? Well, here's a... I think what they're getting out is you, they, we seem so like flawless and it's, but we're YouTubers. Everything looks better. It's like, it, it's not what you see. We we do yell yeah, sometimes, like we do get upset. Are crazy. But we don't throw our kids across the hall or anything like that. But I, you know, sometimes you just want to give them a good old toss. Um, but we don't like spank or anything no, like that. None of that. I was spanked a lot as a kid, a lot. It was like a, a weekly tradition for us. So we won't, I won't be doing that. <laughs> I wasn't spanked that much as a kid because I was really, I was a good kid. Okay, so it says, oh, I haven't been saying who's been asking. I'm sorry. Well, I give them credit now. Why not? Uh, I guess, uh, Julia Coyle, Sarah Keller, Abby D, and Arson Y. Okay, so this says, okay, sorry, but how old are you? You seem on the younger side, but seem to have your crap together. Uh, with three kids, a marriage, and a home to take care of, do you schedule your day, do certain chores slash tasks on different days? So... Um, I don't think any of us have our crap together. Like, moms in general, I think we just, I don't, I feel like I do as much as I can, right? Like, Every and day. I tell Alex that all the time, like, I, I do what I can. And that's the most I can give. That's all I can give. Um, oh, but how old are we? We're 29 years old, so I don't know if you're thinking, like, younger side with three kids. She, she's older than Six me. years apart, at least I would have to be, like, I don't know. 24 right I don't yeah I'm older than him and he always says I like older women I am one day older than him it's true one day but I have a lot more life experience is what I tell him yeah I know well here's the thing she 
was born early. I was born two months early, but so technically he says... I was conceived first, so if you believe in pro-life, then I am therefore older yeah, than you Yeah, yes, but I've been out in the life, out in the world so much longer. Then you spend like your first three months in a NICU. Yeah, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why I like hospitals so much. Okay, how did you get your start in Fruit of Your Own Business? We have a business. What made you start a YouTube channel? And can you explain more about your postpartum experience? Okay, hold on, one at a time. How did you get our start on our business? Um, it kind of started really small. Uh, so basically after I had my first, I had a stint of postpartum depression, then I googled like natural ways to remedy it. I found out about placenta encapsulation. I had a friend who was pregnant, so I was like, let me do this for you, sounds really cool. She took a lot of her swing, but ended up calling them her happy pills. She loved them. So uh, yeah, so then I started doing it for more and more people, and then it suddenly became this business well, four years later. Because Kim Kardashian did hers, and our business skyrocketed got because bit, of it. Yeah, it got bigger and bigger. Also, for those of you out there who want to see her encapsulate, who wants to see the process, let her know, because she's hesitant. She doesn't think anybody's gonna watch it and be grossed out. I am hesitant. But if we can get, like let's say we can get, I don't know, uh, 500 likes on this video. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had 500 likes on this video. 500 likes on video, then you'll make one, deal? Or someone can comment and then get a certain amount of likes. Why do you always go this way? Okay, uh, what made you start a YouTube channel? That same friend who had, who I persuade to have her get her placenta encapsulated by me, um, she, my husband owned a radio broadcasting uh, business and she got a channel with you and then she was like, well, I don't know if I wanna do my segment alone. So then he was like, oh, let me, invite my wife to do it with you because she's a mom and so we kind of started that those videos are, are still on this channel they're like five years ago Go way back, four or five way years back, ago yeah. way way back and we did it once a week and it was an hour-long show but we have a lot of awesome content on there and then from there we kind of took a break and then I started back at it just with me and then my husband and then our family and stuff so long story short a really short story long okay um, can you explain more about your postpartum experience things people don't tell you I plan on making a video about that and I have, I have plans to make many many videos but sometimes it's hard to like do a sit-down videos with Wentworth even though he's being really good right now um, can you compare three of your to the roof. pregnancy experiences they were all completely different but I will tell you with each passing pregnancy it got a little worse for me especially with the morning sickness. And I don't know if it was because it was my third pregnancy or because he was a boy. Um, once Eleanor's in school, are you going to be showing her lunches as well? I sure will, why not, right? Okay, that was Julia. And this is from Jennifer Jones. What advice would you give to a mom of a four month old and a two year old to lose her baby weight? Help me out, girl, love your videos, love you. Um, advice, four month old, uh, patience. Like don't live by the clock. With my first daughter, I lived by the clock and I was like, she should be eating at this time or eating X amount of food or sleeping X amount of hours with waking up. Everyone is gonna tell you that like to do certain things, but you just have to do what you think is right. I don't know, like follow your gut and do what you think is right because so many people have their opinion on what is right and I don't know. I tell everybody. Oh, lo lose the baby weight. I'm trying to lose my own baby weight. I don't think I've lost a pound since I've been I've been going to the gym for almost two months. I don't think I've lost any weight, so I need someone to tell me how to lose the baby weight. So I tell everybody don't eat as that much. if I'll write down all the advice you get. So like your grandmother, your grandparents, my wife here, write it all down and then look back on it and it's pretty funny because everybody has their secrets to, to mothering and right. you know raising kids. How to be the perfect mom. Right. And there's a saying that I always used to say, every mom is different and every mom is right. Right. Okay, your refrigerator situation had me stressed out. Did Lowe's agree to replace it? Watching you from Newfoundland and, Newfoundland? Yeah, and I'm very jealous that you're wearing sandals. We wear sandals 24 seven here. Right. That was Holly Hiller and uh, Lowe's did give us like a loaner fridge and we just ordered a new fridge on Wednesday and they said it would be here in a week. 3,200 bucks, they knocked it down to 1,800. 45% off. Thank so you, Lowe's. So got, they did give us a deal, we finally. Got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, how, are you done having babies? If so, how did you know? I don't know. I don't think we're done. Yeah. That was Cassandra Mitchell. What does Alex do for a living? I gather that he works from home and does something with computers. That's my guess, but I'm curious. That right. was Mama Mittens, Jamie. Oh, yeah, she's she, awesome. She, I mean, you, what, go ahead. What do you do? What do I do? 
I'm a husband, father. What? That's what I am. So I am. Um, so we owned, we together, even though I did most of the work, but we together owned a broadcasting company uh, in through between 2011 and 2014. And we sold that um, and I started going back to school. So I maintained some of the clients that I had previously and I just do a few few times a year. I get on uh, with these these, co these companies and we just uh, you know keep doing that. But my my focus is to go back and use my GI Bill before that runs out. He um, was in the military so he gets yeah. the GI Bill. So he gets paid to go to right. school. So that's basically a job. Use it or lose it. That's the... All right, Lee Dim, Lay, Lay Dim, it's L-E, Lee, I think. It says, LOL, I have so many, awesome. What age are you, covered that. 29. What made you start YouTube, covered that. What is your career before marriage slash kids? Oh, what is that, CBS? You, you were in the Air Force. I was a <laughs> pharmacy technician, hey. hey. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I was a pharmacy technician and I was going to school to become a nurse. She got a pain pill addiction, so they fired her. No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. Uh, what is your best piece of parenting advice? Do your thing. Do your Don't thing. really listen to anyone else. Watch. Because uh, you're never going to make everyone happy. Watch our YouTube channel. <laughs> parenting advice. Parenting advice. Uh, what would your husband's best piece of advice be? Um, watch besides, our YouTube. Besides channel. watch our YouTube. <laughs> uh, you know, just listen to me. If you do that. You, you seem would. so upbeat and positive. What's your secret? I, go and brush your shoulder off. I just let things roll off of you because. That's skin cancer. What? Are you kidding me? It's a freckle. Um, Looks like melanoma. <laughs> that's not not something cancer to joke jokes about. Cancer jokes are never funny. Um, how do I say upbeat and positive? I don't know. You just things are gonna happen. And here's how I think of it. Like if something happens to you and you're like, okay, is this going to affect my life a year from now? And if the answer is no, then like, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Right. Whatever. Uh, holy crap. It just went sideways. Okay. Uh, for you and Alex, have you any weird habits? <laughs> What's your biggest pet peeve? Okay. Any weird habits? I thought I would never get married. I thought, oh my gosh, no one's ever going to fall in love with me because I love to eat chips and mustard. <laughs> like. I don't do that anymore, and I don't know if you've ever seen I me do seen it. You do that. I think in high school that was like I don't think I did it. <laughs> no high school. No this is so delicious. You're squeezing the mustard in your mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but uh, do you think I have any like weird pet peeves? Oh, my biggest pet peeve is when people chew their food. Ah, oh, I can't listen. I think to that. that's a, a thing. Like I think a lot of moms are scared of roaches. I oh my gosh, and terrifying. they hate hearing people chew. I think those are the two things that moms but, oh, cannot stand. What's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Um, yeah. I don't. I'm pretty easy going. I What's don't know. What's your weird habits? Oh. Oh my gosh, he hates when people hiccup. Oh, hiccup. That's your biggest yep. pet peeve. That's right. If you if you're hiccuping, it's it, it literally is you're you're doing it on purpose. You can just <laughs> no one is doing it. On swallow purpose. your breath down to your belly. Sneezes too. He hates when I sneeze. Uh, like, can much. you go outside? Not it. No, not because you're different. Please leave. Take a Zyrtec. Five minutes said. later, and you got boogers running all down your that, face. Oh no, I do not. I do not have boogers. So wait, the, the uh, pet peeve. The you said the weird thing about me. I collect uh, bags. I'm a bag collector. Like backpacks. Yeah. Over the shoulder bags, man bags. Right. That's a weird thing about me. I have yeah, like I probably have thirty collection. Probably thirty bags. And he's given away a ton. Well, when I've sold we them. I don't give them away. They well, value. you donate a lot. <laughs> Um, that's a lot. I even have more. I'm so nosy, but besides all that, really enjoy watching your videos. Your voice is so soothing. My voice is soothing. <laughs> so I'm telling funny. you, she should do an ASMR video. No, I think those are like restricted now. That's what I heard anyway. But thank you so much. Okay, this one is from Marion Muller. Mueller. I'd love to know the absolute favorite food of yours, your husband, and each of your kids. Wait, wait. Let's do this thing at the same time we say it. What favorite I, food? What I think your favorite food is and you think mine is. Okay, one. Two, two three, three everything mustard and chips yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't eat that anymore i don't know what my favorite pizza food is. would be mine that would, would be my answer. guess yeah but like specifically pizza hut pizza for him right we I lived mean, in italy and the best pizza in the world is from pizza hut that's not true, that's true at all no i don't know if i have a favorite food it goes it go i get cravings like up and down right okay this is from dance dance 444 i didn't read through the comments below so i'm sure some things are repeats do you have any siblings we talked about that um, how was your life growing up? Ooh, he has a very interesting like upbringing. That's like a whole nother story. Video. He should honestly like make a book about right. um, his upbringing. I grew up in like I was very sheltered. I always say that I grew up very sheltered, and then I met him, and he has so many like ex world life experience, and I was like, 
like some of the things he says I'm like what well, people do that no that's not real but right. yeah I was really sheltered um, any specific reasons you like to avoid dairy he's allergic to casein the protein in and meat so he can't have like red meat or butter I mean dairy's in everything I mean it's I crazy. physically can and I do but I shouldn't that's the right that's any more the babies in your future probably what has been different the same about adding baby number three I think after the first baby, you just like keep tossing right. them in. It's kind of like right. the same thing. You just get a routine and they just... But it's a boy, it so life. it's been a little different. Of course, he loves it that it's a boy. Yeah. Any differences so far in having a boy? He's very calm. Yeah. I think he's the most calm baby that we've had. Like our other girls, no way that they would ever be able to sit in a car seat for no. this long. No. Ever. He's just playing with my hands, Ever. pulling my fingers, like, pulling my thumb. He's he's awesome. He's a great baby. I think he takes after me. Right. Just saying. <laughs> Favorite color? I'll say yours, you say mine. One, right. two, three. Green. Blue. Okay. Was it green? I don't really have a favorite. I like orange. I do like green a lot. Right, so that's good. Um, favorite food? I think we covered that. Would you rather be too hot or too cold? We say each other's. One, two, two three. three. Too, too cold. hot. That's true. You would rather he be... loves Florida, and I would. I would just want to be cold all the time right. because I sweat. I'm sweating. The AC's on, and I'm still sweating. It's like nice outside too. Yeah. All right, and we live in Florida, which is like the worst place to want to be cold. Well, it looks like that's it for us. Hold on. At what age did you uh -oh. start potty training the girls and any tips? I have a whole video on potty training and tips, and I'll try to link that below if I can remember, but it is on my channel. She's the master. She's the master and, of oh, potty, potty training. We potty train our kids really early. When I say we, I mean I. Um, and I help. They're like 18 months old. You know, he does what he can. I uh, rush them to the bathroom. Did during, you used to yeah. work before you had one child or before them? I think we talked She's about She's always this. worked. There's never been a time where she hasn't been working. We're more entrepreneurial. So she's been, you know, we shipped books. We basically did anything we could in the entrepreneurial world. Uh, what places have you lived? What is your favorite thing about living in Italy? I've only lived in a couple places. I was born in New Jersey. We moved to Alabama and then I lived in Florida most of my life. My dad was in the Air Force slash he was a pilot so and then a pilot instructor. So we've lived in I've lived in Florida most of my life and then we moved to Italy together. Right. Together we've only lived in Florida and Italy. Well tech we also spent about a year almost a year in Texas. Well he yeah I mean he lived in Texas while he was in the Air Force. Right. That was from the Chamberlain family. Uh, where's the lunch videos every Monday? I didn't have one this Monday because it was spring break. Well, tech, when you'll be watching this video, I had one this previous Monday. Anyway, can you make some more lunch videos? I will do my best every week. Do you want any more kids? We covered that. Do you How many people want to see me make more lunch videos? A couple of people have requested you yeah. to do it. Uh, I did one, two. Everyone likes him. I did one or two. You did one. one. Do you plan on going back to work anytime? And if so, what would you do? We never took a break. We, I, I, we're lucky that we get to work from home. Right. That's what I'll say. Figure oh. it out. Figure out how to be an entrepreneur, work from home. Even if you're like just complimenting another business working from home, it's the best way to do it. Sometimes the kids stress you out, but ultimately you don't have to like ask your manager if you can have off or any of that stuff. So we highly recommend it. Um, if you, you know, if you need help, you know, we'll help. Just ask questions and. All you right. Know, that was from D it. Smith. I think this video is like 20 minutes long already. Okay. My question for both of you and your hubby. Um, it has to do with the number of kids you have. We have three. Have you always had a number in mind? Uh, he uh, Eight for him. Uh, has there ever been a time where you two had different ideas about how many kids you have every day of our life? Right. Have your plans for kids changed since you got married? No. But you've known, she's known since we met that I wanted a big family, so. Five is a big family. That's kind of like my peak, I think. Five, uh, in my brain right now, anyway. Um, how many kids do you want? This is from Heather Seuss. The last one was from Gabrielle Young. Uh, what's your favorite date nights? This, this is a date night right now. We did like a painting date night. That was probably one of my favorites, even though the paintings are like. <laughs> I think yours are great. Hers real, are great. Real cute. Uh, what's your favorite meals to cook? Favorite desserts? Every dessert is my favorite dessert. Basically. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter. You put it in front of her, she'll eat it. The other day, did you, you made half of, well, it looked like she made half a pan, pan of brownies, but the reality of it is she made a whole pan of brownies but just ate half a pound before I got home. Listen to him calling so. me out. I love brownies, <laughs> but I can't help myself. That's well, that's why I haven't lost the baby weight. Tip for losing baby weight, don't make brownies every night. Uh, this is from DG, J, G, right? J, E, E. Um, yay, exciting, okay, I have a couple. Are you open to having a fourth child? Yes. What did you think of Nick's bachelor pick? Oh my gosh. So I can't, 
Vanessa was my pick from day one. And then toward the end of the season, like the very last couple of episodes, I was like, I don't think he's going to pick Vanessa. I think he's going to go with Raven. But he ended up picking Vanessa. I guess they did that for like the dramatics of the show. But I love her. I think she's awesome. Me too. That was my first season watching The Bachelor. And I was like, he every time he would see me watch, he'd be like, what is this garbage? Kind of is garbage. In which countries have you lived before besides Italy? Just Italy. We Someone's checking out a bumper sticker. That was Chrissy right. Sheffer. Um, how did you guys come up with such unique names for your kids? A lot of people ask this question. So Avelina is my middle name. It's an old family name. And it was also my great grandmother's name. Eleanor, he was dead set convinced that we were going to have a boy. And we didn't. Uh, look, this guy, look, this guy is checking out our bunker server. He's going to take a picture of it. He's taking a picture of it. Quick, open the door and say hi. Quick. Um, wh who was I on? Eleanor. So I really love the name Eleanor. He liked Abigail. I do like Abigail a lot. He did like Abigail. He thought Eleanor was like, Eleanor Rigby. She's going to grow up to be a lonely girl. But what what do you think about Wolfgang Wadsworth? We love the That's name our next boy. Wolfgang. And then Wentworth we've um, had picked out since before we were married. Right. Definitely before we had kids. So those were our two... And our next boy name would be Wolfgang. We don't have a next girl name, though. I really, really love Meredith. He's still growing. It's still right. growing on him. Okay, that was from Lori Gomez. And this next one's from Sophie95. Would you ever consider moving back to Europe? If I remember correctly, you have some ties with Italy and family in Germany. I do have family in Germany, but if we were to move to Germany, it wouldn't be where they live more in um, Belgium. Right. No, that's a country. Where do they live? Buh, buh, buh. Germany. Uh, Bavaria. Northeast corner. Bavaria. Oh my gosh, where are they? Berlin. They live near Berlin. Berlin. Gosh, Berlin. how could I not? How could I not remember that? Anyway, it wasn't our like ten-year plan to move back to Germany. Move to Germany someday, maybe, maybe. It's in our cards. We'll see. Like we, it might change. It might change. We've got this some things to really figure out. Yeah. What is your all-time favorite meal? We covered that. You're so funny. I love your videos. Love you, Katie Lee. Uh, family so easy and fast. Oh, what are some fast go-to dinners? Mommy life spaghetti meatballs. Vienna sausage. Ew, that's so sick. Pour the sauce uh, on top of cereal. It's delicious. Just do care. you ever <laughs> see a pang of sibling jealousy because it's not visible in the videos? Uh, yeah, all the time. Mm. Mostly, they fuss a lot, like, but then they also, like, have moments where they get along very well. Most of the time they get along. Sometimes they're like, you know, they're kids. They're gonna fuss and be selfish. Um, so I think, let me go through this and see if there's any like questions that ha we haven't covered yet. What is your favorite activity to do as a family? I enjoy watching your videos. Also another question, how do you get your picky daughter to eat fruits and vegetables? Keep giving them to her as an option. And then eventually she'll eat them, pick at them, and then maybe she'll learn to love them. I don't know. Oh, what's our favorite season? One, two, three, wait, 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 wait. Favorite season? Yeah. Okay. Well, it depends on where you're at because in Florida, Florida in Florida, okay. we don't have seasons. We have hot. All right. And really. Favorite season. Out. You ready? Yours. You're wait. You're gonna say mine. I'm gonna say yours. Yeah. One, two, three. Fall. Summer. Yes. Winter's mine. I was gonna say winter, but then I figured you really like it hot. I know you but like it's never Christmas cold. a lot. It's, ne it's like yeah. never cold. So, but in Italy, winter was my absolute worst. It was the worst. I couldn't stand it. Because it was an actual winter. Yeah. We are in northern Italy, about 45 minutes north of Venice. Okay. Oh, did we nurse all our babies? We Hello. nurse all our babies. I nursed all of our kiddos. I extend breastfeed, so yes. Okay. Let's see. How do you budget finances? Oh, we that's just, a good one. We try to save as much money as we can, like point blank. If we don't need it and we can't afford it, we don't buy it. <laughs> that's like an old person thing. Literally, if uh, the only thing we've ever had to debt on is our house. Oh, like even big purchases? He's kind of impulsive about purchases i think we're gonna have to okay <laughs> that's how they do it are you german you look so german i am german half yes. german half italian half german half italian so we have a couple more questions well who's your favorite character from gray's anatomy and do you have any predictions that's mallory's not be able outfit to see you. why not i'm right here you're facing that way the, well the other way i'm facing toward you why would they not be able to see me i'm looking right in the camera yeah, all right, so I love Grey's Anatomy so much. Um, my favorite character right now is April Kepner. I feel like we have a lot in common. I can connect with her. Um, before that, it was Lexi. I really enjoyed Lexi's character. She died. And who was Catherine Heigl? Whoever Catherine Heigl was, I really liked her as well. Oh, and who was, oh my gosh, 
gosh, the first guy that died, he like joined the army for like, he was, wasn't even in the army, but he like, they killed him off. Whoever that guy was, uh, like early, early seasons, he was my man. You know who my favorite is? None of them. No, my favorite is Dr. McDreamy. Yeah, he's gone now too. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, question for your husband, what can you cook that doesn't turn out to be a soup? Um, soup? <laughs> That doesn't turn out to be a soup. That's the point. What about eggs? When I go to cook grits. soup. Grits. Eggs and grits. When I go to cook soup, it doesn't turn into soup. Oh, that's, that's funny. Cool. That's ironic. Thank you. Uh, so glad you're doing a Q&A video. I love to look through a channel to see if I can find one when I'm fairly new subscriber. Here's my lame contributions to the question pile. What made you start YouTube? We've been, we covered that. What three songs on your workout playlist right now? Ooh, I have a workout playlist on Spotify. If you want to follow me, my username on Spotify is Kim Wadsworth. Um, it's a new account, so I only have two playlists. One is working out, and the other is weeping, like calming music. Uh, but I like to work out. I like Fall Out Boy and like Paramore, and sometimes I like slower songs to work out, even country songs. Work, I don't know. Any song I listen to with like good lyrics, Ed Sheeran, I really like him right now. Um, I can work out to any song. Uh, what do you both do for a living? Covered that. How, oh, wait, I didn't ask her. What is your perfect pizza? Veggie. I like veggie pizza. He likes any pizza. Yeah. <laughs> from Pizza Hut. It anyway. doesn't matter. I, I eat any type of pizza. This what? person must be texting and driving because they're not driving. So they just must be texting. <laughs> What's a skill you would like to learn? How to play piano. Oh, yeah. And we have a piano. We just... I've always wanted to learn how to play a piano. It's difficult. Yeah. Um, I would like to learn... I don't know. A couple years ago, I, I wanted to learn how to break an apple in half with my bare hands. I did that. Link that video below. I should link it below. Video linked below. I can crack an apple in half with my bare hands. What, I don't know any, I mean, what other skills? Like right now I have, I don't have an urge to like, ooh, I wanna do that. Maybe learn a language, like to the full extent, but I feel like it would be a hard thing to do if I'm not immersed, immersed in the culture or something, like German. I would like to learn German. You're learning German, but like it's, you don't practice it every day. So like, I feel like in a couple of years you won't remember it. Like I went to high, I, in high school and middle school, I took three years of German and I can, it's, it's hit or miss. Fridge gate, how fast? Oh, how did you know your husband was the one? We'll cover that in our, in our, how did we meet video, I guess. I mean, I mean, look at him. He's a funny guy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, oh, I thought you were going to like pop your eyelids open. No, <laughs> I'm dri that's driving with no hands. Pop your eyes open for them. Sitting in Tampa traffic. Tampa traffic's the worst. What do you order when you get Chinese takeout? Orange chicken, almost always. I, we, uh, we, don't, we don't order Chinese a lot. Like, it tastes good, but then it doesn't make me feel good. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like to eat Chinese. We'll go to the buffets a lot and I'll get just like a chicken and lo mein or something. In high school, I worked at um, a place that was right next to a Chinese restaurant, and I would order like the big thing of lo mein and like eat it on my 30 minute break, <laughs> like the whole thing. It was really healthy. What's your favorite thing to watch on Netflix, either by yourself or with each other? We watched, I, I don't know if it was on Netflix, but Dexter was the show that we watched together. What Showtime. other shows did we watch together? We really only watched Dexter. Oh, and The Prison Walking break. Dead, we watched. Ooh, Prison Break was awesome. The. Walking Dead we watched together. But once they killed off. For a off. long time. Once they killed off Glenn, done. Yeah. Oh, spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. Glenn see. was my ultimate favorite from the very first episode. I was like, I love him. And then that new character, he's very like aggressive and just like Keen. really purely mean. And like we Keen. both, I, I don't know his name, but we both were like, it gives me anxiety watching because I like just watching that. It hurts my heart knowing that someone is just like so mean and like he has no sympathy ever. I just. That's why. We stopped watching after that. They always say like if a solar flare came and wiped out all the satellites, we'd have no internet and people wouldn't be able to communicate as like they're doing now. It would be pure anarchy just like that. Uh, husband. Well, I know cooking. Do you at least do the dishes? <laughs> sometimes he's been getting better about doing the dishes. You do the dishes sometimes. I mean, I've been doing them a lot, you know, these past few years, but um, I just don't enjoy cooking. There's nothing, uh, if you don't like cooking, don't cook. It's not like, oh, it's cheaper to cook at home. Not really, you got dishes, you got time, you got wear and tear on equipment, you got food, you got waste, you got, once again, your time, cleaning, you know, it's just, you're not it's saving any money. To eat at home. No, it's not, it's not healthier. Go it's to Subway, eat 
fresh. <laughs> I think, didn't they do a study where like, uh, is it open? Doesn't look open to me. Oh, uh, there's one car here. It's five, it's like dinner time. Oh, it says open. <gasps> it's open! Can you subscribe to my channel, Nick and Austin? No, just kidding. <laughs> um, if I remember, gaming, he might watch the gaming. Curly long locks. Don't have any questions, but I love your videos. Thanks, Curly Long Locks. I wish I had Curly Long Locks. Pretty nice name. Which part in Florida do you live? Tampa. Do my kids get along? They get along when they're not fighting with each other. Uh, how did Clever. you choose your kids' names? This is for both of you. I think we went over that. Um, I think most of them want to know about Wentworth. We loved the name before uh, we were married, I think. And it's because of Wentworth Miller, the actor. And we yeah. were like, wow, that's an awesome name. Who I met, by the way. <laughs> yeah. How old are your kids? Six, three, and three months. Uh, did you take your kids to Disney World? We took them to Disney World. They loved it. This is from Dan, Dan Zella, Jella, Danny Jella, and your last name. I'm not even gonna try. Z. Uh, they loved it. We loved it. We took a four-day vacation and went to one park a day, and they really enjoyed themselves. Right. I think we enjoyed ourselves too. And it was in the dead of summer, so like all the odds were stacked against us to not have a joyful experience but it was really it was nice. nice it was awesome it was really one of out. our best vacations so and we will take them back next year we said yeah. every three years we will go with them so that is that i'm sure this video is long enough bye now and we are about to eat some dinner oh you always say grubbins oh grubbins sorry all right thanks for watching guys bye again so i think that's where we're gonna end yeah. because this video is probably like 40 minutes long and hopefully i can edit it down to 25 that's right. my goal anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time don't forget to um what subscribe you're already subscribed. do people say that they're already subscribed i don't say that because i feel like you already know all right <laughs> bye. bye listen this thing was eight dollars i thought it was gonna be like a whole, <laughs> i thought it was gonna be a whole cake like i thought it was gonna be a slice of piece or something